So this is a massive box that the Esol G1 Max bike comes in and it's so huge that I have to use an 24mm to shoot this video and it also comes in a different package which we will be talking later in the video. By the way that is the monitor that goes on the top of this bike. So it came in two separate package and this one was sent to me by Esol and I really want to thank them for sending me this product to review in my channel today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this product and hopefully it will be able to fit in my studio, which is in my garage. So let's see what you get inside a smart exercising bike. I haven't used any of the smart kind of product when it comes to uh, fitness and stuff. So hopefully for the fitness freak and for people who want to combine the tech with the fitness, then this might be the gadget you want to go for. So let's see what you get inside. So here is two tabs. It's by the way like 40 kilograms or something. So super heavy for the bike. And as I've seen in a lot of reviews, it's kind of heavy duty product. So you wanna create enough space for this thing to fit in. I was busy with work, that's the reason why I couldn't make this video quick. So I finally got some time today. So let's see what you get inside and we'll be setting this up and i'll also be guiding you guys what you can do with this particular bike so this bike is for people who don't want to be going out or for people who are a little bit busy with their day-to-day -day tasks uh it's gonna be beneficial for those people but although i would prefer cycling outdoors uh, with that immersive display of 32 inches i think this is gonna be the best gadget for those fitness freaks uh, who want to do their workouts or maybe cycling at home and it also has a couple of uh, features which we'll be talking later in the video like using the app to monitor uh, how you have performed like cycling and stuff and it has also got some of the additional features which I will be discussing later in the video so it says that you have to have this upside down so that's the reason why I put it upside down so now what you do is take this out just like that so I'll just lay this flat on the ground and hopefully I would be able to lift it up. It's pretty heavy for the bicycle, 40 kilograms. So it would basically require like two people to offer it or maybe assemble this. But for now, let's see if I'll be able to assemble this on my own. I'm trying my best to make sure that I'm in frame as well as the entire product is in frame so that you can get an estimate of how big the product actually is. So let's see what you get inside so three two one Ooh, it's heavy so let's see where it's getting stuck somewhere maybe shake it a little ah uh, uh, there we go so that's the reason why they'll literally say on the box which side you want to be opening it from so here is your bike and by the feel of it it's all metal and it's super hefty feels so much more premium and here is your I guess that's handle because it has got like a lot of cables here so I believe that's for your monitor where it's gonna be mounted so here is your I don't know what that actually is but it has got like a couple of cables so which is gonna go on the actual TV which we'll be unboxing later in the video so I believe that's the handle and this is the place where you will be mounting your 32 inch monitor TV whatever you want to say because it's so much interactive as I have seen in the app and you'll be able to use your app and the bike together so that you can get accurate measurement of what you have achieved whenever you are using your bike so a really smart way of exercising and getting to that fitness level that you want to so two of the dumbbells one kg each and let's keep moving and see what else is in the box so you will be able to rest it on the back of the bike so both of them goes on the back like this so that's your dumbbell so that's the whole thing of bringing all of these parts together. It feels like you 
own the product if you can assemble this on your own same as with the IKEA furniture right you buy the IKEA furniture most of them like doesn't come together you have to assemble it I probably assembled more than like 15 or 20 products from IKEA it's a lot of hassle but once you put all the things together you feel you know like the product is your own and you have love for the product and I'm already so much sweaty uh, like taking all these parts out so I believe that's the stand for your bike which goes on the bottom yep so it has got two wheels which makes it easier to uh, pull it into different locations all right so these are your pedals for the bike so has got some kind of hook or maybe the compartment where you will be resting your uh, legs so that's gonna be easier if you are trying to do it barefoot I wouldn't suggest that because it's not gonna give you that feeling that you are riding on a bike so better get the bike shoes which is gonna be much more effective with these pedals so two of the pedals so here is your 32 inch TV so this is a little bit smaller and I'm glad that's small so the gaming monitor that I use is from ASUS and it's a 32 inch monitor so just imagine using a 32 inch monitor to actually ride the bike and looking through the videos and stuff how immersive that's gonna be so that's the main purpose of having a tech product uh, like this so having that 32 inch monitor is gonna give you that boost of motivation to give even more that's the main purpose of buying this kind of bike right but otherwise you'll be happy with buying a hundred or two hundred dollar uh, bicycle and just try to ride it outside your house so if you want to have that kind of comfort in your house and have that immersive experience you would definitely want to go for a product something like this so look at this huge display there you go it's really massive so imagine this on the top of the bike it's gonna look super cool and I also found the user manual here in the monitor so this is how you will be able to assemble your bike I wouldn't be showing you this one because it's useless it's so much better if I show it on how you will be able to assemble it rather than uh, looking at the pictures so let me quickly go through the manual and then we'll start assembling the ESO G1 Max bike you get two screws which is already attached uh, to the stand so you will be uh, using the wrench that's provided in the box to take these uh, screws out so let me take out all of the screws and we'll go into the next step so once everything is off you're gonna take your bike and put it on the top of the legs so you take it out the screws and make sure that the seat is on the back side and this part is gonna go on the back without the wheels that is shown clearly in the instructions so make sure that you are putting it the right way the part with the actual tires goes in front of the wheels so the small wheels this is gonna go on that part so lift it up and make sure that it's aligned properly with the holes and once you put everything in place you'll be able to see the holes where you will be screwing these back on so let me take the wrench and tighten up the screws I'm sweating like crazy because it's 30 degrees outside and I'm sitting on my garage shooting this video for you guys so a sub to the channel or maybe a like would be really appreciated and once you tighten up everything it's gonna look something like this so let me put this in an angle so that it's easier for you guys to see so this is how it is currently looking I have already assembled the stands although it's just the first part but we're getting there and let's move on to the next part which is gonna be putting all of the handles and stand together and finally the 32 inch monitor that came with the bike so the next part that we're gonna be putting in is gonna be this one so this is the part where you will be mounting your uh, monitor so it has got cables over here underneath and one on the top so make sure to be gentle it says in the instruction manual so you will also find a cable underneath this one so the part that uh, will be holding this mount on so just be 
very gentle because you might accidentally break the cable. It's always easier to do it like with two person. So once you hear the click, it's gonna look something like this. So there is like one clip on one side, which is gonna hold that in place. So you can't put it on the other side and make sure that the mount is actually facing your way. So that's how you will be able to know which side you have to put this through. So this one goes in. Let me pull the cable up and slide this thing inside. There you go. And also make sure that you are loosening uh, the knob down on the bottom here because it's not going to go in if it's not loose. So you can basically put the monitor into different angles based on your height and preference. So that's the most versatile thing about these kinds of bikes. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, it's going to fit all sizes. And once you hear the click, tighten the knob all the way. So that part is done and the next step on assembling the bike is gonna be your handle so there are already screws in this place so everything is already screwed so you don't have to look for which screw is gonna go where and you have also got the tools to take out these screws so basically you will just take out these screws that's already installed and there is a slight hole over here from where you will be pulling out the cable uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera but this is how your uh, bar is gonna go on the top because there is a hole here where you will be pulling out this cable. So make sure that it's aligned properly. And as per the instructions, uh, just slightly tighten the uh, screws on. Don't tighten it like to the full because you will be uh, pulling this thing like on the side time and again so you don't want it to be tightening it all the way just to hold it in place uh, slightly tighten the screws and now you're gonna take this handle with bunch of screws which is gonna go on the top of this so this is the part I think that's gonna be holding your display the place where there's only one cable coming out that part is gonna go together with this cable and now you want to take this handle and Clip this with this one. So I'm gonna do that. And this is the bracket that's gonna be holding your monitor. And once you hear the click, it's set up. And push your cable all the way in. And take out the screws. That's the reason why you don't wanna be tightening out all of the screws. So just take out two of the screws that's um, holding your handle in place. Goes all the way in and now you will wanna attach this one and the handle together with this part over here. So that's the main reason that they told you that you don't wanna be tightening the screw all the way in. Just be careful, uh, you don't wanna be throwing these heavy parts on your leg and especially if you are doing it uh, in a surface like marble or stuff be super careful because these parts are like super heavy and if you accidentally drop it it's gonna damage your floor so it's better to do it with the help of another person as well so that it's super easy to do but for now I'm just setting this thing on my own and after you are done putting this up just tighten up all the screws and you also get this additional screw here that's gonna go right in the middle and this is the cover that goes on the top so that it covers out everything just uh, the nuts and bolts you don't want to be showing that outside so that's the reason why you have this cover so you just put it on top and clip that in place so this is the actual stand uh, I lost it somewhere so that's the reason why I couldn't uh, actually uh, assemble this together but I finally found it it was like somewhere sitting around the corner but this is the screw in the picture it says that this screw is attached with this part over here the handle that holds the monitor but it came in a separate package uh, with this particular uh, mount that's gonna go on the back of the monitor so just be careful because in the picture it shows something different that it's already attached over here I just wanted to let you know because I had to face that situation. So, screw is already here, not on this part. 
So now we'll be working with the actual monitor and we'll be putting all the parts together. So make sure that you are laying your display in a flat surface and you wanna take all the screws out from the back of the TV. And this part, the mount is gonna go like this. And then you screw it back on. And also there are like two different sizes screw. So this is the small one and this is the large one so the large one goes on the top and the small one goes on the bottom and next part is super simple you just take the monitor and mount it on your bike so just be super careful on this part because you don't want to be uh, dropping your display get help with someone as i'm sitting on my own and shooting this video on my own i would have to try it so what i basically did was loosen up this part where the handle goes because it's way too inside and this uh, actual handle is gonna prevent me from putting this thing on so I just loosen this a little bit so that I can attach the actual monitor now it's gonna be much more easier for me to put it on and now as you can see the display is mounted be super careful with this one and uh, you're gonna take your wrenches that's provided with the product to tighten this thing up. So you're just gonna take the wrench, one of the wrench and this Allen key, hold this and as per your need, adjust the angle and tighten this up. There you go. And after you are done with that, make sure that you also tighten this joint because if this is not uh, tightened, the monitor will tend to fall off so after you have already adjusted your angle, make sure that you have like tightened this well. And the monitor is all done. And now for the cables. So here is your cable. One is gonna go on the back right over here. And see that cable, the display cable, it's gonna screw in place. So put it in and screw that part inside. Just like that. So your display is finally ready to go. So you can adjust the height and change the angle depending upon your need. You can also push it out just like that and it's gonna change its place. So now let's put on the dumbbell holders that's gonna go on the back of the bike. So there is a screw over here that will be holding your dumbbell holder in place. So you just take your dumbbell holder and slide it in and there are two different holes whichever hole is easier you can put it there so screw that in and tighten it with your allen key and there's your dumbbell holder that's done so moving on to the next part the next part is gonna be the bottle holder this is how you will be putting your bottle holder and there are like two screws on the bottom and put your bottle holder in place so this is how you will be able to put it your bottle in so slides there is like some slot over here which is gonna slide on and from the bottom just like that and put your screws back in so that's your bottle holder in place so the last part is gonna be the pedals so let me put that together and we are all done. So it took me a couple, maybe like two hours to assemble all of the products because I was completely unaware about different kinds of the accessories that comes with the uh, bike. So if you're new looking at the video, it's gonna be so much easier for you guys. So that's the main point of making this video and shooting all of the installation process of this one. And I'll be taking you guys on the tour of how you will be able to actually uh, use the product with your smartphone and the app. So let me assemble the final part that's gonna be the pedals and then we'll go from there. So here is your pedals, like it says right and left over here. So right is with the blue and left is with the red. So you just basically screw this in place, same as the normal bicycle. So there we go. It's easier with the wrench. There we go. Same thing here until it's all the way to the end. Alrighty. 
so that is all done looking good and I think that's the last step of putting this thing together so this is the kind of sound that it makes I don't know if you can hear the sound and if I want to change the resistance I can do that with the knob over here oh it's a lot harder yeah it's kind of a magnetic one so doesn't tend to make that much of sound but if I want to make it easier I can just loosen it up so that's all done for assembling the bike it's looking something like this so your monitor on the top with the handles and you have also got your bottle holder over here there you go I really like the color combination of red and black it looks so much classier and so much more premium ESO bike so I think I'm done for today so it took me like two or three hours to fully assemble this but if you're watching this video and you got your bike it should be so much easier and you don't have to go through the hassle that I did and looking at the manuals it's gonna be always confusing and if you have an actual video on how you will be able to assemble it's gonna be so much easier so I'll be making a video tomorrow because I'm already too tired so that's all done for today just the unboxing and the installation of the ESO bike and I'll catch you guys tomorrow and we will actually walk through it together so that you actually get to know like what to expect from this ESO Z1 Max bike so here we are on the next day so now we will be connecting uh, our monitor uh, with our app and I'll be showing you guys how you will be able to use it but before that I'm just gonna be showing you how this magnetic thing works so as you can see here right over here there is magnets so that's the main benefit of having this eSoul bike so when you turn this knob the magnet tends to get closer to the wheels which is metallic and it increases the resistance of the wheels you can see the magnets getting closer and if I turn it the other way it tends to go up so that's the benefit of having a magnetic uh, resistance for your wheels and it makes so much less noise than the usual chain where it tends to make so much of sound so just wanted to show you how this thing actually works so there are a lot of things that's going on inside that's how you will be able to monitor whatever like kind of cycling maybe the resistance and stuff all the data is gonna be transferred to the monitor so we'll be seeing that later in the video but just wanted to show you how this thing actually works. and for plugging the uh, actual bike or the monitor you will be using the cable provider so there's the adapter over here and here's your wire and here is the port on the back where you will be plugging this thing in so let me do that and uh, we will be uh, going through everything for the first time so that you know how this thing actually performs so here is your port and this thing goes on the back over here just like that and now we come over here so let me peel this cigar off always my favorite part of getting any new gadgets so there you go So much satisfying sound. A little bit on the top. Showing green. And here you are greeted with the E Soul. So it turns on on its own, you don't have to do anything. So it's booting up. Hello. Alright, so this is the first page that you'll be greeted with. So it says you have to connect with the uh, ESO fitness app. So I'll just go into my phone. I have already downloaded the app. So here is the ESO app. So you go on the top over here and there is a plus button up here when you open the ESO bike. So it says keep pedaling the bike and searching. So let me start doing that. 
and it's already there you don't have to do that it says wires g1 max so connect and please enter the wi-fi in the app it says in the monitor so i'll just put the wi-fi information in so i've already put the information in and as you can see it's connecting to the wi-fi and connected connecting to the server and it's connected so it's just gonna update its thing like for the for very first time so i'll just wait till it finishes and by looking at the display it's quite good it's similar to my monitor it's not the high-end monitor that i have but for coming with the actual bike it's pretty good so once you have updated your app on the bike uh, it will look something like this so it has got different uh, settings over here so here it says your name so this is my girlfriend's name over here so it says please start your subscription by eSoul Fitness so you basically can get a uh, subscription which I'll be showing you later uh, what kind of added benefits that you get with the subscription and here is your stats so for last seven days which is zero minutes zero kilometers and all of the uh, calories that you have burnt throughout the week you will be getting over here and here it says exercise data in March so everything is like well presented and you will easily be able to know like what kind of calories that you might have burnt whenever you have used your bike and here it says active days and week streak and here is the uh, stats for your uh, connection with your phone and the Wi-Fi status so here is the screen so it says personalized uh, that's for my my program so best free if you want to just use the free version of this one you can use that too so 20 minutes of rock climb ride uh, efficient fat burning seven days strong and lean seven days summer ride so all of these things are personalized and depending upon your needs you can choose whichever you want there are also like bunch of recommendation that comes in so here are the uh, some of uh, the recommendations from the app so for your goal for your intensity and hot and also there are like uh, if you just want to be riding uh, without doing those fitness uh, kind of program that is available you can do that too so let me try so it says just ride or the scenic ride so maybe let's just start with the just ride so in the app it just shows uh, this one it says just ride and let's see in the app so I'll just start pedaling and you will be seeing what's happening in the screen so there you go so as soon as i start pedaling and it also gives you the 74 percent resistance so how much of the intensity of actual uh, like magnets is there you're gonna see that so i have started pedaling and it says 35 rpm calories burned and how much miles have you covered so 97 percent average 91 and as soon as i turn the knob so i'm making it loser and loser you can see the resistance going down so it's gonna get pretty easier if you turn it all the way down but as soon as I start like turning the uh, resistance wheel you will be able to see uh, the change in the actual resistance so I'm turning it so that's one two seven it's pretty accurate as soon as I turn the knob um, the resistance changes and turning the knob so turning it clockwise changes the resistance to stronger and vice versa so here you go i'm turning the knob clockwise and 66 71 73 77 82 89 and 100 so at this point it's gonna be super hard to pedal because it's in like full resistance and you have to put a lot of effort to push it in so I'm just gonna go maybe like 60 or maybe 50 which is gonna make it a little bit easier so turning anti-clockwise and you can see the resistance change right over here so pretty accurate uh, it's not like those cheap ones like the cheap bikes where you have to turn and it shows up after a while I'm turning it slightly and you can see the resistance changing immediately so that's a really good sign of a high quality product so as you can see it shows the data so total time six 
minutes 10 seconds, distance traveled 0.9 miles and calories burned 20.9 and it also says which day you actually did that workout. So really good like actual interactive display, everything shows up in the display, you don't have to worry about trying to figure out what you actually did, how much calories you actually burnt when riding the bike and you can even use the app to actually know uh, how much calories you burn. So all of the data is gonna be in your phone as well and you also have a graph to indicate what kind of calories that you ha might have burned. So let me try the New Zealand coastal road. So as you can see, so if I wanna ride in New Zealand, I have to actually get the subscription. It says $60 per year if you wanna buy it like straight, so it has 75% off or you can try it for like $1.15 per week. So not that bad for uh, all kinds of features that you get with the app and it's so much more interactive like if you want to just try it out you can use that and it says all of the features that you get so 200 plus fun and motivating workouts 35 plus customized programs and 40 plus gorgeous scenic routes so all of the different routes that you see over here you can get access to like all of these if you actually get the subscription for the ESO fitness app so for some of them you get it for free and if you're happy with that then you can get the subscription and get additional root options which will be so much more immersive so there are like fun stuffs as well you don't need the app to actually use the uh, bike but it's just gonna make your uh, interaction with the bike so much more better so i would highly suggest you to give it a try you don't have to buy it but if you are happy with the subscription then you can buy it for like one year, it's $60, not much. So if you're buying this bike for fitness thing, then like $60 per is not a big deal. So that's all for the initial setup of the bike. And I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And also I just want to show you one thing on how you will be able to change the height of the cycle. You can see the knob on the back. So you just turn it anti-clockwise and you can pull it up. So turn the knob, maybe I turn the knob all the way up and you can change the height of this seat depending upon your height. So you don't have to turn it all the way as I did but maybe go halfway. It's a little bit harder on the camera so I'll just twist it all the way and there you go, a little bit higher should be much easier for me to ride now. So I finally entered the code provided by the ESO. So here is the membership. So for you guys, if you wanna be activating the uh, membership, then you go into the profile section over here. Let me try to get it in focus. Yeah, so right here on the bottom, you have got like the profile, you click that one. You press the settings on the top and press membership. So as soon as you press the membership, you will have the options uh, to choose whether you want to choose the weekly or the uh, yearly uh, like subscription for the ESOL membership. And I already have activated the membership here. And also one thing, so if you want to be using this app with your monitor, then you have to be connected with the 2.4 gigahertz network, not the 5G one. Nowadays, like most of the routers come with the 5 gigahertz network only, but you want to change the settings because you have actually got the option to set up two Wi-Fi that's going to be 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz depending upon your router. So just check into the manuals of your particular router and you want to set that to 2.4 gigahertz network. If you're trying to connect it to the 5 gigahertz network, it's not going to work. So make sure that you are connected to 2.4 gigahertz network, not the 5G one. So just wanted to let you know.
So we're gonna get started today in mountain pose. Step to the top of your mat, place your feet and hips with distance, whatever feels comfortable to find your stability. So pressing down, grounding down into all senses, spread them out, and then ground down into your heels as well. Bring your hands together at heart center, relax your shoulders, take a full breath into your nose, Exhale, out your mouth, let it go, relax the shoulders. Beautiful. Now start to release your hands down by your side, palms flip open. Start to move the feet around. Feeling yourself really grounded. in. So I guess that's it for the unboxing of the Esol G1 Max bike. Let me know what you guys think about the bike. Would you be buying the bike like for the display and all the features that I've shown you in this video? And uh, if you wanna buy the product, I'll throw the link in the description for you guys to check it out and use the code AZTechnoFreak to get additional 10% off before checkout. And I also wanna thank my girlfriend uh, Shreyasha for helping me out on this video. I really appreciate that. And more contents to be coming in your way. So, do hit that subscribe button to never miss out on the videos that I'll be posting in the future. And I guess that's it for today's video. So if you enjoyed the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to AJ Technifreak. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one and peace, peace out. out.